There it is. I found it. Horses. This was sent to us by Cameron. Uh, how do you say his last name? I think it's Barami. Cameron Barami. And the moment I saw this ad, I had to talk about it. I just had to cover this thing. Uh, it says, I think this is on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. It says, Fender Guitar in Houston, Texas for $250. We're looking at basically a silver Telecaster here with a bunch of extra appointments to it. I mean, uh, I'm not going to say the first thing that catches my eye. I'm going to start with the second thing and work through like the fourth and fifth thing that catches okay. my eye. And then we'll save the last, the good stuff for last. It's got the uh, aftermarket hardware on it, like the the bridge and the uh, the control plate that have like a filigree etched into it. So it's like black hardware with like a gold filigree across yeah. the whole thing. Oh, that's cool. And then it's got a black uh, mother toilet seat pick guard. Uh-huh. I don't really like the look so far of all this stuff. It has a guitar pick holder. Um Double that's, sticky tapes to the that's upper so horn. So if you drop your guitar pick, you got one right there. Yeah. It has rainbow guitar strings on it. Uh-huh. I think it's missing the high E. No, but, it's just really thin. Oh, yeah. I can see it. It's, it's like, like a it's very like a, light pink. Yeah. But yeah, you've got neon pink, neon yellow, some sort of blue, a neon red, green, and then back to pink. Uh, you know the strings. There's like these packs of strings you can get that are all sorts of crazy colors. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm not even to the main thing yet. It has a aftermarket Fender uh, neck plate on it. Yeah, I was trying Fender, to read what that says. It's kind of hard something, to make out. I think it says 64 or 84. Jerry Jones Jerry Telecaster. Jerry Jones Telecaster? Like, what is going on here I'm a little that? confused because the seller's name is also Jerry Jones. Also, the, the paint, on the silver paint on this. Yeah, it's got to be a uh, it's got to be like a custom neck plate he had made for him, the guy who modified this guitar. Um, right. The paint looks really bad on the back. The silver paint looks like it's definitely a home job that someone did. But let's get into the main thing about this guitar. Uh-huh. On the front and on the back, there are pictures of horse faces, like carved into the body. Like with a Dremel and not in like a very good way. Yeah. It's a very bizarre style. And then like filled in with a Sharpie. <laughs> yeah. Filled in with <coughs> some sort of black paint in the re- in the carved out relief. And then this really bright blue paint around the horse's head. Yeah. It's, which is bizarre. It's, sky. it's so bizarre. This art. I don't know what to make of it. And the horse on the front looks really bad. Really, really bad. Like, the person just completely botched so much of this artistically. Do you think it looks better or worse than the horses on the back? I'd say that the main horse on the back kind of looks better, but still really, really bad. And then there's a secondary horse on the back, also really bad, but smaller. And all three of these horses are in these, like, really odd shaped circles like blobby circles yeah like they're looking through a window do you think any of these horses were on any famous tv shows back in the 90s i have no idea what you're getting at Uh, just a thought why is that a thought you're having it's just a thought that i had ryan (laughs) so there's no backstory here we don't know why there's horses on these guitars my question is why, after doing one horse and seeing how good it didn't look, <laughs> this person said, you know what this guitar needs is two more horses that look about the same. you think the they same. did the back horses or the front horse first? I hope they did the back horses first and then said, I've got it down now. I think I can do the front horse better and then still didn't do it good. <laughs> I can't even describe why these horses are bad. Just look at the pictures in the episode description. They just look like they're drawn by, like, Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, it's very Napoleon Dynamite. Like, it's, it's like... It's like Napoleon Dynamite drew it, and then someone attacked it with a Dremel, and it was their first time ever using a Dremel. Yeah, so it's like, oh, you've been taking, like, art classes, and you're trying to do ultra-realistic, but you're just not there. That's the style. This is very far away from ultra-realistic. But well, it's that, like, it, yeah, the, I guess the anatomy is there. These aren't cartoony horses. 
Right, that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's what they're going for. It's just not what they're getting. Yeah. Just like Napoleon. The Donald. one on the front. What would you how would you describe the personality of the horse in the front? Emo. Is definitely an emo horse. Like the sad eyes, the the swinging bangs. Yeah, no, it's that swoop bang, man. Like his head is down, he's just mopey and like, well, I guess I'm a horse on a guitar. Poor and guy. Uh, I never thought my life would turn out to be so awful. Just being a <laughs> horse on a guitar, boo hoo! This thing is just a disaster. Boo freaking who? Now here's, I mean, this is a question we have to ask. We don't have a shot of the headstock, do we? No. Let's assume this is an American Telecaster. Okay. Two hundred fifty bucks. Do you go buy it? Yeah, for if it was an American, even with this this horse mangled situation, dude, I would. Uh, an American Telecaster neck is probably that's true. Two hundred bucks by itself. That's true. Just flip the neck, and then, man, I don't even and know. Those, to... those filigree parts. I bet someone on Reverb would spend on those. Yeah, yeah. You can flip the parts. You can sell the pickups. Yeah, you're right. There's there's flip potential here for two hundred bucks, but that body's toast, right? Yeah. You would have to really sand this thing down, like really down to save this body. I guess maybe you could do some kind of Bondo thing. But <laughs> man, that's a rough save. Yeah, it, it's, it depends on... Um, it depends on what, what, how deep it really is. If it just looks deeper than it is because it's kind of like darkened in. Or is it that dark because it it's so really deep? It looks really deep. The carves look really deep to me. Like someone used the big Dremel tool on this. <laughs> yeah, I guess 250 is fair. This person's not, you know, if we, uh, that's assuming this is American. This could be Mexican. This could be Squire. We don't know. He just says it's a Fender guitar. Um, so assuming it's an American Telecaster, yeah, that price is fair. If it's anything less than that, man, I can't. I don't know. Would you pay two fifty for a Mexican? No. no, I wouldn't pay two fifty for this if it was Mexican or anything less than that. All right, let's uh, let's tackle the first topic. Yeah.